السلام عليكم ورحمة الله This is Hani Ismail from Planning Engineer website Now we reach it chapter 10 Actual Costs What is the actual cost sheet? Okay, the actual cost We have here one sheet We need to store our actual data This sheet is very simple However, we need certain information to be loaded in this sheet So we will be using it in the next reports so we need to have the activity ID, BOQ ID, division ID, project ID, date, actual material cost, actual labor cost, actual equipment cost, actual subcontractor cost. Then we have here all these one are manual. And these two are calculated. The first one is total actual cost will sum this column. And this month ID will make the lookup for the date and give us the month ID. To be honest, if you are doing this one with traditional way, it might take long time. That's why I, I developed for you a very nice sheet here. This nice sheet, let's say you are working in uh, uh, stage B, zone 7 or zone 8, building type A3, for example. You are working in the finishes work, you are looking for the flooring work, for example. You are working for these two items. Now we can put the data, let's say we are in 10 October 2020 and we have here 100, 200, 300, 400. Now you might ask yourself a question, from where I get this one? The actual material costs. This you, sh uh, you should ask your QS uh, to give you the cost, maybe you will have some different sheets to calculate the material for each item but uh, at the end we need to put the final result here after you fill this data okay let's say you fill this data and you are you are happy with it you just click add data and here you can find the data data added where it is added to be add at the bottom here okay and it is not uh, required to put the data in sequence doesn't matter for any project for any date for any material it doesn't matter so uh, we created this one with simple steps now let's say you want to do the same item but for zone 7 so see how it is easy now you can put the data here and you click add data and that's it so let's go and see how to create this nice and practical sheet so as usual i will start with empty sheet i will start importing some data i will import months And this is the only sheet I need to physically import because I'm using VLOOKUP. So I'm going to load and I will call it months. Now I'll load cost estimation also. But I will load this time as a connection only. Let's load activities. Here is our table activities. We load as a connection. Then we will load activity BOQ. We will load this also as a connection only. Now let's merge the activities. With activity BOQ as usual. We will link with the activity ID and we will click OK. We need here all, only the BOQ ID. We don't need the schedule cost here, so let's remove it. And let's name this one final BOQ activity. So I'm going to save this one. I'll click load and, uh, close and load to. I'll make it as a connection only. I'll add it to the data model and click OK so the final BOQ activity I have it here can we add now a pivot table we can insert pivot table from workbook data model OK and final BOQ activity I have here everything I can have the activity ID and BOQ reference 
division ID and project ID now I need them to be repeated so I'm going to here field settings I'm going to lay out and print show labels in tubular format and repeat items these two important things should be selected I will do the same for the others tubular format repeat items also in the division now I have everything ready for me what I'm missing now I need to put my filters or the slicers I will click this table then from insert I will insert a slicer uh, no not division I need all the WBS 1 2 3 4 5 6 then I need BOQ name activity name also I need this is the slicer okay now the WBS one is the same project ID so I don't need the project ID I will delete it click and delete now this is my slicers I can also change the looking as I want you know, this is something uh, for you now one thing here you need to do uh, I will tell you about it let's say you selected zone 3 see this one showing uh, some data so if you don't want to see it you right click here slicer settings and hide items with no data so it, you will not see and will confuse you if it is not confusing you you can keep it but this is what I did okay now we will put some columns here I will make here the date then I'll put the another column for actual material costs and I have here actual labor costs actual equipment costs actually I should do it the same as the order I need it now I copied the uh, columns I need I need them with the same sequence like this and I'm ready to put some data but I need to create now the uh, macro or the automation that when, whenever I put some data here, okay, it will be copied and go to the other sheet. So this is very simple. But first thing you need to do is to save file, save as. Be sure that your file is saved as macro enabled. Okay. Once you did this, you need to be sure that this sheet is named data entry. And from developer here, this is very easy, you from the menus here, options. So I'm going to insert a button. I'll put it here. Then I'm going to right click view code. And here let me close this one so it will not confuse us now I can see here my uh, uh, workbook so I'm right click insert module okay then I'll give you one sheet one text sheet this is the macro you can right click copy and you simply paste it here what this sheet will do this sheet will go to this range and select it and then it will make right selections and down selection then it will go to the sheet actual cost sheet and it will count how many rows we go then it will go to the last row and it will paste the values then it will come back to the data entry sheet if you don't want to name your sheet data entry change the value here and if your sheet of the actual cost also has different name it changes the value here and it will show me a message that data added very simple very easy to see this one in action be sure that you only select the BOQ items you want okay this is important you can close this one now it's important to show only the BOQ items you want if you show everything everything will be copied one more thing here also we, we forget to do that from pivot table options I don't want to see any totals so I need to hide the ground total so to not be copied with me 
let's put some data here again here I'm going to press F8 so F8 will execute range A3 will select and select everything it will go to actual sheet find the last cell go below it paste the value then it will come back to here select this one delete clear then it will show me the message now I need to assign this macro to this bottom very easy now I'll click save and close I right click assign macro this is my macro at data I'll click OK now whenever I click this button this macro will be executed let's try it again let's copy some data from here put it here now click this one okay we did it you can change this one by right click then you can select the text and the type what we what you want again once again we try it see how good the excel is the excel is very nice now we can fire it okay i hope you found this lesson easy try to do it yourself tell me if it works see you in the next lesson